The holidays are a time for friends, family, and more often than not, feasting. Those three things combined can lead to one thing when it comes to getting dressed wanting to be more comfortable. However, the holidays also mean time for photos and dressing up. So how can we combine the two and make sure that we're well-dressed and stylish while also staying comfortable? We're being joined by Deb Vogel, the owner of House of Color, Sioux Falls. She's here today to show us a few options and avenues that we can take to keep comfy without resorting to sweatpants. Welcome, Deb. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me back again. Good to see you. First things first, before you even go out to decide what you're going to get, you probably want to know what the trends are. How do you determine what is in trend for that season or that holiday? Right. So House of Color, besides our color and style analysis, puts out twice a year a trend report. And it's such great information. Anybody can buy this from us on our website. Uh, it will name the trend. It's the five main ones that are on the runway. It talks about the key styles, fabrics, finishing touches and um, like say you love puff sleeves what else goes with this this will give you the whole idea of it and clients often say to me I just want to look put together and this is a great way to have that complete look if there is a trend going on that we just can't jump on board with or we don't think it looks good on us is it okay to just skip it Yes, at House of Color the main thing we would say is if you don't love it and it doesn't love you don't wear it and Wanna that's why we have so many unworn things in our closets. Just stick to the things that we love. So you brought in some things now after I going did. through the trend report. So let's walk through some of these things and what we're looking at for what we can wear to be comfy but also stylish. Right, exactly. So there's um, virtually no waistbands here today. So that should be real comfortable for Thanksgiving. Yeah, get rid of the waistbands for exactly, sure. Exactly. One of the main trends that I think translates really well in this neck of the woods is all about comfort and has a lot of hyper tactile, thick textures. So one of the things we're seeing is all this fringe effect. This is from Macy's. I love how it's subtle too, like the fringe isn't a different color than the exactly. rest of the sweater. Exactly, and this is perfect for summers. It's in a beautiful smoked grape. This is from Bohm. This is just an example of how thick this texture is. There's a lot of uh, cocoon, uh, wrap yourself in a blanket, like a blanket type of yeah. I know, beautiful. Um, also very popular right now are these huge giant scarves that come almost to the floor to wrap yourself in. Um, they also come like in cashmere, thick chenilles, really, really popular right now. So do people wear that almost like a shawl? And wrap it around a few times and you can, you can swing it over and, but it's all about cocooning yourself in this blanket. So it's like a fashion blanket. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And um, also in that trend, there's a lot of geometrics patterns and notice this fringe on here again. This is from Buckle and then also from Buckle is faux fur is also a big part of that and this you got to feel it it feels just like rabbit I know fur, I was touching fake. it before we got started and I, I was know. like can I just wear this for the segment <laughs> I want to wrap up in it right now and, and this would also be great for the Christmas holidays as too and then kind of maybe a fancier option from that is White House Black Market this poncho that you can wear like with a turtleneck and wrap a belt and again it has this fine fringy feel to it so beautiful tactile so you would actually put a belt around mm -hmm. around it over yep. the top of it yep in the store Julie had it on a mannequin like with a gray turtleneck yeah. and then the belt wrapped around it and cinched or you could wear it loose Oops. also this is such a fun trend these little shoulder shrugs and this is a turtleneck one. This is from Buckle. Cable knit is also hugely on trend for men as well. So this kind of combines those, but it's kind of fun. I have a question about that. Yes. So the little, you know, shoulder shrug, I think is what you call yeah. it. Do you think that that's going to be a fad or do you think it's going to stay in trend? Trends are usually three to seven years and fads are usually here today, gone tomorrow. Only time will, will tell. tell, won't it, okay. right? If okay. We, I didn't take shackets along because I think everybody knows what those are. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know either if those will be a trend or maybe a here today, gone tomorrow. This is a cute little set is from Express. And notice, it again, it's a shoulder shrug. Um, this also comes in a cropped hoodie. It has this little cable knit pattern. And sweater sets are a big part of another trend. So this one really kind of combines three trends into one. And again, that pattern and that texture. Right. And here's another example of sweater sets. This one might be just a little bit more modest. I love that. <laughs> it looks really warm. I got to feel really it. Really comfortable. Ooh, I mean, yeah. imagine going to your Thanksgiving holiday in this. I mean, yeah, so comfortable. Uh, yep, I could jump on board that with that. All day. Another huge trend is uh, sweater dresses and ribbed 
fabric knits. I mean, you are going to see so many knits Flattering with the ribbing too. in it. Yeah, and this is from Bohm. And I, like I said to you, I almost wore this today. This is from Express. It's really cute um, in our winter colors um, ribbed skirt. This is a trend that works for everybody. It's kind of luxe loungewear. They're really upping it's like the fancy. Yes, fancy, upping the the fabric. This is from Macy's. This is a Calvin Klein, but I've been seeing it in all the stores. Soft. You can wear it with a big coat um, and boots. Often they'll take the hoodie and put it with a boxy blazer and jeans. Oh yeah, the blazer. So it's kind of Dress like it up. they're they're bringing it into smart casual, yeah. which is really there's fun. a few dressier options at the end. We only have about a minute left, so let's okay. get into those just so that we can, if you want to do a little bit more dressed up. I was going to say Athleta has velvet leggings, Ooh. which works for that. Uh, this is the puffed sleeve trend that belongs comfy. to that, but the smocking is really big right now and those layers are in. A lot of people see that. Uh, silk slip dresses are in. They often have spaghetti straps. This one doesn't, but it can be layered with sweaters over it. And then from Ever this, Eve, I love these pants. Um, there's a trend. Everybody's getting ready to go out and party again, so there's a lot of um, sequins, blingy tops, statement earrings, and then these leather paper bag statement pants. Statement for sure which are great for going out. And this could also go over into the holiday Christmas season again. I love that. Well, we are out of time, but I just want to take note of the shoes you brought in because they're oh, yes. like fancy slippers. The chain trend and then these barrettes from ever uh, from Express kind of goes like with the chain that oh, I'm wearing now. Really, I love it. Really they look fun. so comfortable. Well, thank you so much, Deb, for yes, coming in, bringing some here. different ideas. I want all of them. I don't know how I would decide. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome.